Spirit Gemini, welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy my readings, please be sure to like and subscribe, as well as leave me a comment and let me know if this reading resonates with you. Alright, so I'm just going to scoot that over for a second while I shuffle these cards. And then we're going to, I'm just, I've got this sitting here so that I can show you the card that I'm reading because um, these cards are so pretty. Like, beautiful. Alright, so actually, there's my cards sitting underneath this. This is 1990. Alright, so this week we've got the Angel Fire Oracle, the Mystical Shaman Oracle, and we also have the. Um, we're going to use this new deck called the Arcana, the Arcana of Astrology, all right? And so this just basically attaches the astrology to the planets, all right? And I'll, I'll explain to you sometime here, um, whenever it comes up, how that works, okay? <laughs> so if you really want to know more about that, I really went in deep on the Sagittarius, um, because I know a lot of my Sagittarius people are very knowledgeable, very, um, um, self-actuating and they just they're very um, curious so if you'd like to go back and check that out you can but here's the card for my angel the front the angel deck and then the book for the um, the arcana of astrology all right so basically what this is doing is it's attaching uh, different meanings from from the astrology into the tarot which that is exactly where it comes from. Um, but I think that, you know, it's always come from there. <coughs> All right, so let's take a look here. We're gonna start with these cards. Um, I might have to pull my hair up, you know, I'm so hot. There's a card on the floor. I gotta get that, y'all. Hold on. Y'all, I need some likes and subscribes. Okay? Because my chair has had it. I need some love, y'all. Give me some monetization. Can I get to a thousand? If you're an artist, give me that 10K love. Because I am an artist. And I need that 10K love. Okay. Okay. Cancer. We dropped cancer on the floor. <sighs> Rut row. Okay. So, at the end of the reading, Gemini, we're going to read the card from this deck, from the Arcan Arcana of Astrology. And it's going to give you um, basic information about your sign and um, connecting it to the astrology. Oh, so beautiful. You're going to love it. All right. So, let's start with these mystical on shaman oracle gemini give me some gemini love gemini love reading gemini what's gemini going through let's give gemini some advice from the higher plane energy for Gemini. Ge energy for Gemini. Water reversed. All right, we got one. Let's just cut the cards, pull one more. The Heart of Sky. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. It's also reversed. And we're going to pull a one of these beautiful. Okay, so if you're a supernatural fan, you might recognize this as Enochian. I don't know if this is legit Enochian, but um 
I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is because it is on the angel cards. So it's got to be an Okian, right? Okay, so what I'm going to try to do for y'all is I'm going to take these symbols from the Enochian and I'm going to um, analyze them with the other symbolism and see if we can. Okay, so this is literally, no, this is literally the stars. You can see that this is the stars. So somehow these stars are associated with the angels. Each angel is associated with a certain date which is associated with a certain star. Okay, so let's pull one for Gemini. Gemini angel reading. Gemini. Gemini angel reading. We had two flop out. We got Zuriel. Ooh, this is beautimous. 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 All right. And... Michael, Archangel Michael. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So, but we're going to start with the water card. And um, finally, after we read the angel cards, we're going to read your card, Gemini. So, let's just go ahead and put that there for now so you can have something to look at. Ugh. Okay. So, I'm hoping that these visuals will help me to remember these cards on a more permanent level. So then I won't have to be reading from books every reading. So if you feel like um, you have some kind of tricks or <laughs> help you, help me remember these, um, yeah, I'm open to anything. I usually just put a cheat sheet up of the numerology because <laughs> It lines up directly with the cards. Numerology does. Okay. So we've got water reversed. So we're going to start with that one right there. It's associated with the number 61. That's card number 61. All right, y'all. I got to be real with y'all. It is getting so hot in here. And I have got my air on, but it's just not enough to keep me cool. All right. The water symbolizes purification, regeneration, birth, revival, and cleansing. It signifies an evolutionary shift from the former self to the new self. And many myths around the world speak of a great flood and the new life that revealed after a deluge. Water begins without boundaries. Then, as soon as form has separated itself from water, it comes under the law of time and life, thus acquiring limitations. All right. <coughs> so... The medicine for this card, because it's reversed, is time is time for cleansing unwanted energy and sticky feelings. Consider this, what water does to the flesh, it does in a sacred ritual to the spirit. The spiritual cleansing, like baptism, is the opportunity to get an instantaneous experience of the timeless non-ordinary reality in which all true creation takes place. Now is also a time that the pregnant that is pregnant with potential for you. Carl Jung, Carl Jung <laughs> talked about the mater maternal womb-like significance of water as a universal symbol. Water represents the potentiality of existence. It precedes and sustains every creation. Emergence from it is manifestation. Immersion in it is dissolution of the form. Because of this, it symbolizes regeneration. Make 
way for the process. You can expect it to be messy, but worth it. That's fair enough. All right, so let's take a look here at your next card, which is also reversed. The heart of the sky. We're going to read it reversed. I'm going to put it up for you so you can see it upright, but we're going to read it reversed. And it is 24. Does that say 24? I think so. 24. <clears throat> All right. The heart of the sky. The heart of the sky is love force that's made all creation possible. Excuse me, y'all. Um, this same force is present when you create with or originality. When you bring formless to form or inspired ideas to expression, this primeval force does not know good or bad. It is up to us to provide clear intention that will guide it to manifest. Okay, I do like doing original work. Um, I try very hard not to be um, using other people's work. I like to try to come up with things for myself. All right, um, the heart of the sky helps us call in the beauty from the invisible world and birth it in the world of matter. Okay, so that's very interesting. I love that. The medicine says... You may feel responsible for everything and everyone. Perhaps you think that you have to do it all. I know this feeling. All right. Um, this takes you into a dark hole where you lose trust in natural order of this cosmos. Shed your lofty sense of duty and recognize that this is a false prison of your own making. You can open the door and set yourself free in an instant. All right, so this is very true. I feel like if you're in a bad relationship where your lover doesn't help you, then you can get to be feeling this way. And the best thing to do whenever you do feel this way, like you have to do everything, is just to let the other people in your home, in your house, that let them know how you're feeling and tell them, you know, that you need their help. And, and most importantly, try not to criticize while you're doing it because people are going to respond more if you are nice, understanding. And as my grandma used to say, you get more sugar, more bees with honey, something like that. Anywho, just be sweet and you're going to get more out of whatever it is you're trying to do. All right, so let's take a look at the next card. We've got the angel card we're going to do next. Zuriel, 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 and this card is number 27. I really like it when the cards have numbers on them to anyone that might be watching this that's making a deck. <laughs> a lot of people know that I have a ton of decks that I DIY. Zuriel. Z-U-R-I-E-L. All right, so I did not see that one based on any of the ones that I've seen before. 27. This is way to the end. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Zuriel. My other hand was sitting on it. Can you believe that? All right. <laughs> Diplomacy and fair play. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. My nose is itching. Beloved Azuriel is known as God. God is my rock and the angel of rep rep repentance. Like the female Sufi whirling d dervish on her oracle cards, she is a regulator of opposing forces and governs the rotation of 
the heavenly bodies, keeping Mother Earth in sync with our solar system and universe. Earth is in sync with our solar system. I'm sorry. Um, Zuriel stands for harmony and peace. As a celestial rock, she helps keep you rooted to the spot where you need to make a stand for what's right. She is formidable ally to have around when you are facing a conflict, especially when facing injustice coming from the opposing, as she literally cannot be budged. Zuriel acts as your inner backup, preventing you from backing down in the face of unfairness. Also, the angel of vitality and fertility, Zuriel, balances our hormones, brain chemicals, and other bodily systems, restoring for our, our equilibrium and exuberance. She improves our mental health, eases stress, and can thankfully reveal when we are acting foolishly. Ooh, okay. So watch out if you have been thinking about making some kind of foolish decisions, right? All right, the angel of the zodiac sign of Libra. She is all about tact, diplomacy, and meditation. Similar to Scogged Halsey, which is another angel that I had never heard of till I got this deck. She blesses our social life and brings good relations and strong sense of fair play to partnerships, friendships, community, and groups. Zuriel can help us to forgive and release any hurt or upset after we have suffered disappointment. As an angel of evolution, justice, salvation, she rapidly restores harmony, brings foresight, and can be called upon for prophecy, offering clear guidance on our next steps. The most powerful angel of the, of the principalities who are the angels who govern groups, communities, and institutions, including the entire nation, Zuriel watches over the innocent and vulnerable. She protects newborn babies and infants, welcoming them into the world. Call on me to bring harmony, diplomacy, and fair play to all of your interactions. I will restore your equilibrium. How to meet Zuriel. Close your eyes and invite Zuriel to be with you. See, sense, or imagine a whirling flame of the softest pinkish violet light coming into your energy field. Imagine that you can rest in the stillness in the middle of this gentle, spiraling, angelic light as though resting in the eye of a storm. See Zuriel dancing around you. Call to mind any aspects of your life that feel out of balance and invite Zuriel to bring them back into alignment with peace and harmony. Breathe in the light and allow the mini tornado to gently close around you like a soft violet blanket, helping you to feel safe and secure. Open your eyes when you're ready. All right. So I forgot to put my angel eyes on. I want to show you guys this app. Okay. There's certain, um, there's certain apps that let you change your makeup and this one lets you change your eyes. So the reason I started using this is because it uploads a lot, a lot faster, but mo mostly because you can change your lipstick. You can change your cat eyes. Can you see that? <laughs> it's too creepy, right? Okay, so I really love this app. Um, it has allowed me to do 30 minute readings, 40 minute readings, instead of 10 minute readings. So if you enjoy these longer readings and they really resonate with you um, and you like my angel eyes, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as go ahead and go over to my Patreon account and give me a um, subscribe. All right, so one more thing we've got here is uh, not Gemini. I don't see. Uh, yeah, Gemini. Yeah, we got a 
We got to read your card. Uh-oh, we got another angel card. I forgot that two flew out of the cuckoo's nest. All right, so two cards flew out. I've only been doing one, but like I said, now that I'm uploading um, with this app instead of that other app, it's so much better. So let's take a look here and... <laughs> let's, um, let's read your card for you. That's not the right book. No wonder I can't find anything. Gemini. Here we go, Gemini. All right, my Geminis. I want you to know I miss you. The twins. The planet ruler is Mercury, which is also my planet. And the opposing zodiac sign is Sagittarius. So you're not going to get along with Sagittarius very well. If you have Sagittarius friends then your relationship is going to be more like um, more like the one person who will help you with the things that you don't like because they're not going to be really a lot like you. They're going to be the opposite of you. Opposites attract, though, so sometimes <laughs> to your detriment, though. The third of the signs and the first air sign to appear on the zodiac wheel, Gemini symbolized... Gemini is, uh-oh, I forgot. Hold on a second, y'all. Hold on just a second. We've got one more card. Um, this one right here. I thought y'all could see it, but now that I zoomed in, there we go. It's 23. Michael, courage and protection. Probably the most well-known of all of the archangels is the beloved Michael. He is the angelic protector, your personal bodyguard. He infuses you with courage and will ensure that you and those that you love are kept safe. Ask him to cut any negative cords and relieve tensions and bring peace to your family and friends and watch over you and your loved ones the angelic policeman if you see a police car go by or witness a fight or an argument send michael to help the surrounding situation and his powerful transmuting transmuting flame to resolve any conflicts michael's colors color is a brilliant cobalt blue or indigo and you may see blue sparkles when he's around what whenever you feel afraid uncertain or you need a little extra courage call on michael to wrap his blue cloak around you and shield you from harm many years ago i was home in sydney australia Visiting my family when we attended the church service at St. Mary's Cathedral. As soon as we entered the church, I felt Michael's energy wrap me up like a protective force field. My heart began to pound and I felt an intense tingling sensation spread through my body. I looked up at the altar and I was stunned to see Archangel Michael materialize in front of my eyes. He was huge and he had long blonde hair that was flowing in the breeze despite the air in the church being perfectly still. He wore a deep blue cape and he held a giant sword of light above his head. He was unspeakable, unspeakably powerful and yet gentle. I experienced the most profound feeling of love and security. When you are going through a rapid or difficult change in your life, or you feel uncertain about your path ahead. Call on Michael to reassure you and trust that all will be well. Release your fears. You are safe and protected. If are, I swear it says if are, I mean, I think it means to say if you are in a time 
when you need a little more courage, know that I am with you, shielding you from any perceived danger. How to meet Michael. Close your eyes and ask Michael to be with you. Focus on the color of the deepest indigo or cobalt blue and see Michael wrapping his blue cloak around you to protect you. Imagine him standing by you, right by your side, pouring courage and strength into you. Think of any issues that you need help with in your life. Ask Michael to resolve them peacefully now. Then let go of them so that he can take the burdens from you. Thank Michael and rinse off in a white light and ground yourself. Open your eyes. Okay, so if you resonate with this reading and you love um, the Archangel Michael, you may have heard Prince talk about it. So maybe only people who are epileptic might have noticed this, but Prince, or the songwriter, singer slash songwriter, formerly known as Prince, now um, has said that he was healed of his epilepsy by Archangel Michael. So, too bad that he didn't call out to Michael for his most recent issues. Maybe he'd still be with us today. I feel like um, Prince was a very, um, a very good person. And um, we're going to miss his soul. All right. So let's go ahead and take one last card. The one I already tried to read you once. The Gemini card. All right. Gemini. Oh, you're going to love this. Okay. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Let me see. Um, I actually have a little list of Geminis that I know and love, and I really like to look at them whenever I'm doing my readings because it helps me to remember who I'm talking to you and blah, blah, blah. Anywho, I lost my list. Oh, well. So, Gemini. Let me see. I know I know one Gemini off the top of my head, too, maybe. <sighs> Planetary ruler, Mercury. The element of air, modality, mutable, opposite zodiac, Sagittarius, feathers, herbs, and birds. Okay, that's just to reiterate what we already read earlier. And let's go ahead and move on to astrology. The third of the signs and the first air sign to appear on the zodiac wheel is Gemini symbolized by the twins brings the best and the worst qualities of this element with them bouncing back and forth between wonderfully inquisitive and deviously mischievous mischievous um gemini is anything but calm and collected in your chart gemini has shown ha, okay in your chart gemini can show where you are intellectual, witty, and social. The twins rule, the twins rule the area where, hold on y'all, I cannot see this very good. I'm gonna move it over here. All right, let me see. The twins rule the area where you are driven to share your opinion and knowledge and where you have retained the skills needed to be adaptable. It is important that Gemini learns to focus on one task at a time, or you can appear flighty or insincere. And Gemini wants to contribute to everyone, every topic and discussion, but gives up when it takes actual work. Ruh -roh. Okay, that's, that can't be true. I know some very hardworking Geminis. Uh, when it's something that they want to do, okay? So I think maybe my advice to Gemini is maybe try to delve into something that doesn't really interest you that much for your lover or your child, all right? In a reading, your ability to adapt 
to new situations is going to be your greatest strength right now. A wave of change is coming your way, and at times you may feel like it isn't, it isn't progress, but it is. Sometimes staying afloat is goal-like, is goal life, isn't always just about getting from point A to point B. You will need to rely on your networking and your social skills to get something done in the near future. So Gemini, here as a, here is a little nudge in your direction. Evaluate the connections that you have. Are you maintaining them? Are you offering something or just taking? People remember these interactions, keywords, inquisitive, mischief, social, wit, intellect, opinionated, duality. All right, so I absolutely love this reading. It super um, resonates with me. I love it. I hope that, that it does indeed resonate with you too. Please give me some comments, likes, shares. If you like the new readings, if you want more of these um, beautiful cards, this is the back of the card that you're looking at. It's got all the signs and symbolism in it. And you know I'm all about symbolism, knowledge and symbolism. All right, there you go. Print that out for your, for your wall, okay? So I hope that you all enjoyed this. Once again, um, if you would like to become a Patreon of mine, it's, you can go to my Patreon and subscribe for free, and you will get updates for, um, you know, if I had any patrons, I would get over there and do something, but I have none. So I really need someone to go over there and like my Patreon account. And then maybe I can figure out what in the world to do with it. If I do ever get a patron, I have this Tarot Illuminati deck. If you're not much on Illuminati and you just don't want that, we're going to also offer up this, um, this, I have an angel deck that is absolutely beautiful artwork. Here it is. Um, the angel kindness cards. All right. And I'm also going to put these up with the Tarot Illuminati. Whoever, um signs up first will get a choice between the angel cards or the tarot illuminati and then the next person will get um the second deck whoever signs up so right now i have zero zero so i'm calling on the angels here someone help me i know there's some earth angels that will come and help me all right, so y'all, please take a moment to like, subscribe, hit the bell, jump on down to my Patreon account. If you love these decks, scroll down and you will see the links to my affiliate uh, Amazon account. If you want to purchase them, it will help me out and I desperately need it. So please help the starving artist and like, subscribe, share, and go sign up for my Patreon. All right, y'all come back and see me next week.